Mark, I think we've met our spirit animals right here yeah. in Los Angeles. Yeah. We're just a couple of penguins in Los Angeles, you and I. It's a Canadian transplants. Uh, we're going to tell you about a popular PBS kids show that's pre that presents young viewers with a compelling, compelling bird's eye view of rarely seen animal behaviors in uncharted habitats. Joining us now to preview the show, two fabulous guys, a pair of brothers. They're the Kratz brothers lost at sea. Uh, we have Martin and Chris here. Good morning to hey, the pair Michelle. of you. Good morning. Tell Good us morning. about the show. I, the kids would love it, but I bet I would tune in and be fascinated. Yeah, well, it's an animal show for kids, and um, and basically we each each episode is a new animal, and we go on adventures both in live action and animation, discovering new things about animals. And we're launching our second season with Lost at Sea, Ooh. which is our special, which features dolphins and blowfish, no, oh, and we're excellent. starting our exploration of a lot of sea creatures. On well, we're going to explore Pen these guys. Yeah. They're and adorable. penguins had to be my favorite animal even before <laughs> I saw the movie. Remember with the movie Penguins? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. I mean, that just brought such a different. Don't wave your hands. Well, 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 yes, yes. Where are these guys from? And, uh, these, and, uh, they're from Southern Africa. They're black-footed penguins. And uh, this is a pair. They mate for life. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That's right. But of course. And they handle the heat of the day. Oh, and, and, they're, oh, well, yeah, oh, oh, oh okay. And they, on cue. They, yeah. they, they handle the heat of the South Africa. And also, they jump right into that really cold water. So they're uh, they're comfortable wherever they are. Look at his little butt. He's shaking his tail yeah. feather. Yeah. That's where that's the phrase comes from. Now, these guys are about middle age, too, you see. Yeah, they're about seven. And they are middle Age yeah. right now. We're coming up on uh, one of my favorite days, Groundhog Day. This is an actual <laughs> groundhog. Yeah. They're yeah. huge. huge. Yeah, and they get even bigger than this. They, they can get like not. 30 pounds. Yeah, they can get really Can big. I touch? Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah. Okay, but the back, right? Yeah. Yeah. Does he Their thing is to eat, as no, you know. <laughs> Their thing is to eat, eat, eat until right. they hibernate. They're one of the true, true hibernators. But when wouldn't they this go be in, his time to be in? Yeah, shouldn't he be asleep? Yeah, yeah. 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 You're hey, what are we doing? We're not <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, sleepy. Sorry, I'm not good. But their heart rate goes down to three beats per minute. Yeah. Wow. Three per minute. Yeah, yeah. and they can get the, in the 30 degree Fahrenheit their body temperature when they're hibernating. Do they, they have down. a mortal enemy? I mean, the, obviously there's predators that go after them, but do they ever sort of get aggressive towards oh, no. other they animals? Just, they're chilling. No, they just yeah. eat grass and dandelions. They're they're really peaceful. <laughs> that is hysterical, and yeah. they look very much kind of like a beaver or any other hedgehog. In, I mean, they're yep, that same family. Exactly, they're in the marmot family. Okay, yeah, well yeah. we're gonna let they're him. They're the largest do squirrel. His thing. Of it, very, <laughs> yeah. if you saw a squirrel like that yeah. in the tree. Now this is a cool. Animal. Here's what an animal this? related to a raccoon. This is Get a kinkajou. Get on over here. Check him out. Kinkajou? Say his yeah. name again. Kinkajou. And where no, is it he's... from? It is from uh, Central and South America, He's and they're the, on one of the only carnivores with a prehensile tail. And that's what they do. They basically hang they in the hang trees out. like this, grabbing fruit, getting flower nectar, and an actually apple. they have a six-inch long tongue. They do not. <laughs> For this little creature. Come That'd be on, us like, Come like on, us having tongue, a three-foot long what tongue. What a beautiful color, though. <laughs> really yeah. beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, beautiful. Okay, yeah. you want beautiful some food? Uh, and, on and you know what? They're one of the only mammals that, that is actually a pollinator, like bees. No. They really? pollinate flowers. Yeah. They uh, stick their face in the flower, get, get full of pollen, oh, and go Where are they from yes. again? You said what to South America. South America. And, and America, they're yeah. marsupial. They're, what no, are they're related they? to raccoons. They really are yeah, related to really raccoons. Are, but yeah. They're not as fierce as raccoons. Raccoons can be downright mean. You wouldn't want a raccoon climbing all over you like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, these <laughs> guys can be tough, too, can if they, they want to. Yeah. This one is friendly, though. Super friendly. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. how old is this one? I just love the way they can hang. Hang, yeah. It's so cool. Yeah. And he, uh, he's oh, he's a little chilly. Yeah. He is a little chilly. Yeah. He's not used to this cold weather of Los Angeles. Yeah, no. All right, well, the name of the show okay, whoops, is I'm not, sorry, Wild I'm Lost at Sea Science Special. It's going to air this Monday on PBS Kids. If you want more information, uh, check out our website. We'll link you to it. And there, of course, pbskids.org is the website. You guys, this was really Thanks cool. Come back and bring more features for us. This is so exciting. Great to see you.